The Long Baseline Neutrino Facility Far Site is currently under construction deep underground at the Sanford Underground Research Facility. The main excavations will see nearly 100,000 cubic yards of rock blasted and removed to surface to create three large span caverns which will ultimately house the experiment neutrino detectors. So just how are these massive excavations created a mile underground? The process begins with careful surveying and setup of the planned cavern alignment so that the detectors will be exactly where they are planned for to meet the requirements of the experiment. Once the survey is confirmed, a large piece of equipment called a jumbo moves in and begins to drill out a predefined hole pattern in the vertical wall of rock at the end of the tunnel. Each pattern is carefully designed so that only the minimum required amount of rock is removed. The drill is largely automated and programmed to drill each hole as designed. The rock is hard and abrasive, so each drill out takes several hours to complete. Water is used to cool the drilling bits and minimize rock dust. Once the drill out is completed, a mixture of ammonium nitrate and fuel oil is pumped into the holes. Each hole is fitted with a small detonator hooked up to a master control panel. The control panel is programmed to fire the holes in a certain sequence in order to produce the best excavation profile possible and keep vibrations to a minimum. During blasting, all personnel underground are moved behind a heavy steel blast door for safety. The shot is fired and the next several hours are spent mucking the blasted rock fragments to the shaft for removal. Geologists and engineers then move into the area and inspect the fresh rock mass for fractures and other notable features which may influence the ground support design. Once mapped and photographed, permanent support of the rock is undertaken through installation of resin grouted steel bar reinforcement, or rock bolts, and a wire mesh over the excavated surface. This will prevent any small fragments of rock from coming loose and dropping down. Lastly, a thin layer of shotcrete, or pneumatically applied concrete, is applied on top of the wire mesh in order to seal the ground and ensure the long-term safety and stability of the excavations for the life of the experiment. The process is repeated over and over again incrementally in order to form the final cavern geometry, which is as tall as a nine-story building. Now the construction of the experiment and supporting infrastructure can begin.